ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் வெல்கம் பேக் டு ஃபார்மசி மேட் ஈஸி இன் டுடேஸ் வீடியோ லெட்ஸ் ஸ்டடி அபவுட் சம் பேசிக் டெர்மினாலஜிஸ் ஆர் பேசிக் டெஃபினிஷன்ஸ் இன் பயோ ஃபார்மசியூட்டிக்ஸ் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஆஃப் ஆல் லெட்ஸ் சி வட் இஸ் மென் பை பயோ ஃபார்மசியூட்டிக்ஸ் so you guys know what is pharmaceutics is meant by so in pharmaceutics subject you are mainly dealing with the different drug dosage forms or formulations like tablets capsules solutions parenteral formulations etc and biopharmaceutics so from that name itself biopharmaceutics so in this subject you will be going to study about the effect of drug in body and the mechanism of drug action and the effect of our body in the on the drug that means how our body affects the drug action so all of us know when a drug we are administering through different routes like oral or parenteral that drug first get absorbed into our body okay so that means the drug when it administered for example in case of oral formulation when we are administering a tablet first it has to be disintegrated then it has to be dissolved in the gastric fluid then third step that will be absorbed into the systemic circulation that is what absorption and the next step the drug that will get distributed from the systemic circulation into the site of action that can be either tissue or different organs or different org the receptors present in this tissues or organs or cells okay and after that the drug that will get eliminated or excreted out through different excretory mechanisms so the main organs like kidney lungs and also in some cases skin etc will helps in this excretion so before excretion this drug molecule that will be converted into more water soluble molecule or compounds for its ease of excretion and also the drugs that will be converted into non toxic products because in cases of drug that can be accumulated in some cases they will get accumulated and that can produce toxic reaction so in order to prevent that the drug that will be converted into non toxic and also polar that means more water soluble compounds to make it easier to get excreted out from our body so that's how a drug getting acting in our body so that's a mechanism of drug action so this biopharmaceutics that mainly include the drug action how a drug acting so we are studying a, how a drug acting in our body how our body affects the drug action then we are optimizing this study result in order to enhance or in order to optimize its pharmacological action okay so that is what this subject mainly focusing at so coming to the definition it is the study of factors influencing the rate and amount of drug that reaches into systemic circulation and the use of this information to optimize the therapeutic efficacy of the drug products so there are various factors available which affect the drug action so we have to understand what are those factors and we have to optimize then we have to analyze that result and then using that result we will do the things which will help to enhance the pharmacological action for example enhancing its solubility or uh, converting it into another dosage form sometimes we'll be uh, converting it to the lipid coating in order to improve its lipid solubility because most of the membranes in our body is lipid soluble so a drug has to be much more lipophilic in order to get distributed or reach into systemic circulation or into uh, its site of action so that is what all about the subject biopharmaceutics and i already said that for a drug to elicit its pharmacological action there are four main steps that is what drug ADME this 
ADME that means absorption, distribution, metabolism and elimination. This makes the basic principle of biopharmaceutics. So in this subject we are dealing with different factors that affecting this ADME that is drug absorption, distribution, metabolism and elimination. So it is very important to understand what is drug ADME. So ADME means drug absorption, distribution, elimination and metabolism. Now let's see the important topics included in this biopharmaceutics subject. So this biopharmaceutics that mainly include two important topics that is pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics. So first let's see what is pharmacokinetics is. So pharmacokinetic it is the study of time course of drug ADME and their relationship with therapeutic and toxic effects of drug. And if simply speaking pharmacokinetics that is the kinetics of ADME that is the kinetics of absorption, distribution, metabolism and elimination. Or otherwise we can simply say like pharmacokinetics that means what the body does to our drug that means the factors that affecting absorption, distribution, metabolism and elimination and the kinetics of absorption, distribution, metabolism and elimination that is what pharmacokinetics. Next the second important topic that is pharmacodynamics. Pharmacodynamics mainly concerned with the biochemical and physiological effect of the drug on the body and its mechanism of action. So this pharmacokinetics that mainly deals with what the drug does to our body. So pharmacokinetics means what the body does to the drug and pharmacodynamics means what the drug does to the body. Now let's see what is meant by this ADMA process in detail. So the first one A that is absorption. Absorption is the process of movement of drug from the site of administration to systemic circulation. So when we are administering a drug that has to reach the systemic circulation. So that process is called absorption. So absorption that is the process of movement of drug from the site of administration to the systemic circulation. Okay. Now another important point that is bioavailability. Bioavailability that is defined as the rate and extent of drug absorption. That means the rate and extent of drug that reaches systemic circulation. We know we always say like intravenous route. That's the parenteral, one of the parenteral route that has 100% bioavailability. So what is meant by this bioavailability? When we are administering the drug through intravenous route, we are administering directly into the systemic circulation or into the blood. Okay, so the, the drug that reaches fully or completely into the systemic circulation, so there is 100% bioavailability. So bioavailability that is the rate and extent of drug that reaches the systemic circulation. Now the second point in ADME that is distribution. Distribution means the movement of drug between one compartment and the other. Usually the blood and extravascular tissue. So I already said when the drug reaches systemic circulation, the drug then moves into the site of action like tissues or organs for exerting its pharmacological action by binding to different receptors present in the tissues or organs or cells. Okay, so that process is called distribution. So distribution means the movement of drug between one compartment and the other. And in distribution, one of the important point is protein binding of drug. Protein binding means the phenomenon of complex formation of drug with protein. So its significance is a protein brown drug is neither metabolized nor excreted nor it is pharmacologically active. So a drug for being pharmacologically active it should be available in free form in the circulation or at the site of action. When it is protein bound it is not pharmacologically active or not it is metabolized or not excreted. 
So that's the significance of protein binding of drug. It's one of the important factor which affect the distribution. Now the next point in ADME that is elimination and metabolism. So first let's see elimination. Elimination is the process that tends to remove the drug from our body and terminates its action. So elimination occurs mainly by two processes that is first one biotransformation or metabolism. So metabolism means which makes the drug inactive. And the second one excretion. Excretion means exit of drug or metabolites from the body. So through metabolism the drug that is converted into more water soluble or non-toxic product then through the second technique that is through excretion the drug or metabolites that get excreted from the body. So that is all about elimination. So that is all about drug ADME. So this is a schematic diagram showing the drug action, the drug that has to release and get dissolved in order to get absorbed into the systemic circulation and from systemic circulation there is some chances for some part of the drugs to get eliminated and most of the part that get distributed into the tissues where it exit elicit its pharmacological action. Okay, so after this the drugs in tissues gets eliminated after metabolism through different process or different excretion mechanism. So this is a schematic diagram that showing the pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics or mainly the drug ADME process. Now let's see the important point in this biopharmaceutics that is the plasma drug concentration profile. So there is a relationship, direct relationship that exists between the concentration of the drug at the site of action and the concentration of drug in the plasma. So that can be demonstrated by plotting a graph or diagram between the plasma concentration and time. So that is what plasma concentration time profile. So here you can see an example for this plasma concentration time profile. So this plasma concentration time profile mainly contain pharmacokinetic parameters like Cmax, Tmax, then pharmacodynamic parameters like intensity of action, duration of action, etc. So I will explain in detail about this in my next video of biopharmaceutics. So I will focus only on this plasma concentration time profile and its significance in my next video. Now another important definition in biopharmaceutics like bioavailability there is bioequivalence. Bioequivalence that is a relative term which denotes that when a drug substance that present in two or more identical dosage form that reaches into systemic circulation at the same relative rate and extent that means their plasma concentration time profile that is similar or identical. Okay, so that is what bioequivalence. Now, next drug interactions. So, drug interaction that is one of the important factor which affect the drug ADME. So, drug interactions are said to occur when the pharmacological activity of a drug is altered by the concomitant use of another drug or by the presence of food or drink or environmental chemicals. So, there are different types of drug interactions like drug-drug interaction, drug-food interaction, etc. And we know in some cases, the food in our stomach can interfere with drug absorption okay so that is what drug food interaction and in some case the concomitant use of two drugs can interact with each other so that can affect the pharmacological response that can make either a toxic reaction also so that is all about drug interaction so this is all about today's video and in today's video I mainly focused on some important or basic terminologies or definitions which we are using in biopharmaceutics. So this is the first part of this biopharmaceutics lesson and in upcoming lessons or videos I will 
explain in detail about more topics in biopharmaceutics so thank you for watching my channel and if you like this channel don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you